Hi Anna, Miss Philly and the rest of the Real Women of Philadelphia. I'm Lori and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Now I know what you're thinking. Lori, we have seen your kitchen a dozen times. Where are the white cabinets? The flat top stove? This is not your kitchen. Well, you're right and you're not so right. It's my kitchen away from kitchen, our home on wheels. This is where we spend as much of our time in the summer as we possibly can in. And I do a fair bit of cooking right here in our camper. So without any further ado, let's head inside before this wind blows us away and we'll cook up a great appetizer for tonight. Come on in. So I may be a little cramped in here, but once the weather turns nice, my heart starts aching to be out in the open and in the wilderness and being able to cook in here for my family instead of in my house. So for appetizer week this week, I want to give you a recipe for some great creamy watercress cucumber bites. These little guys are going to be a hit even if you're spending the afternoon in your trailer, out for a picnic, or at a dinner party. You're going to find these little appetizers to be incredibly versatile. I find when we're out camping, sometimes appetizers make the best lunch because we eat breakfast late and an early dinner and these little snacks are perfect for filling in the afternoon. And of course, when you're not exactly roughing it by taking a camper with you, you've got a great fridge to store all your Philadelphia cream cheese, we've got some electricity for a mixer to blend things up, and I've even got space to bring my own knife block along with me. This knife block was a great Mother's Day present this past year for my children to me and I just couldn't leave them inside when coming out to show you this appetizer. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing we're going to do is work on our watercress dip. If you've never eaten watercress before, it's an amazing little herb with a ton of health benefits. They're fine little leaves that pack a whole lot of nutrition in these little guys. But some of that nutrition is lost once you heat them up. So it makes watercress to be the perfect addition to sandwiches or dips or like we're going to use for today, our creamy watercress dip will be great as a dip but also as a spread on our cucumber bites. So I've gone and chopped up um, about a cup to a cup and a half of watercress by just washing it, drying it, removing the stems and chopping it finely. And that's all ready to go. The main part of our dip is of course our Philadelphia cream cheese. We're using just the original Philadelphia cream cheese today in the brick form. You could also use the light variety to save yourself a bit of fat. With but we're going to use an entire brick of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now the benefit of a trailer is I have a little microwave. So instead of bringing my Philadelphia cream cheese to room temperature by taking it out early, I'm just going to set it on the microwave here for just about 20 seconds or so, 20 to 30 seconds to soften it up because if I was in my house, I'd use my food processor for this dip, but I don't have my food processor out here because it takes up a little bit too much room in my kitchen. So we're going to use a hand mixer, electric mixer here. So I want my cream cheese to be nice and softened up. So along with one entire brick of Philadelphia cream cheese, I'm going to toss in about half a cup of sour cream into my mixing bowl and blend those together first. Putting the sour cream in as I blend the Philadelphia cream cheese makes it that much easier to get a smooth texture. Now we're going to use our creamy watercress dip um, for our cucumber bites and then I'm going to also use the rest as a veggie dip on a veggie tray. I find a creamy watercress dip to be excellent as a vegetable dip. It's something a little out of the ordinary. It's not your standard dill or your standard ranch but it gives a whole lot of nutrition and a whole lot of flavor. So now with those blended up pretty well I'm going to toss in my other ingredients to the dip. I'm going to throw in all my watercress. Again, that was about a cup to a cup and a half of finely chopped watercress. I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of lemon. Now, not too much lemon juice because the lemon can actually become a little bit overpowering and you do want to still be able to taste the watercress in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to throw in about a quarter cup or so of, of Parmesan cheese. These are my camping salt and pepper shakers, so they're not nearly as, as reliable as my in-home ones. And just a tablespoon or so of chives or green onions. We'll finish this off. And then I'm going to mix that all together to get that all incorporated and nice and smooth. So now with an incredibly tasting and nutritious watercress dip ready to go, I'm going to set this in the fridge and we'll get going on our bread. 
Okay, now our bread is going to be the base of our uh, creamy watercress cucumber bites. So I've got a baguette that I've sliced up into about half inch wide pieces. Um, and then just saute them in my pan to toast them up on both sides. So coat one side and then flip them over to the other side until they're nice and toasted and crispy with about a quarter cup of butter and three cloves of garlic. This will make perfect little uh, bites of garlic bread on both sides, which will pack a lot of flavor but not be overpowering to our watercress. So once those are all done, we're ready for our cucumbers. Fresh cucumbers are in abundance at my house. Uh, we have a friend that operates some greenhouses just up the road from us and she always has an abundance of cucumbers to share with us. So we are just going to take, and I'm using a crinkle cutter just for a bit of extra texture, but you could use one of your regular knives also, and just slice up a cucumber. into little slices to set on top of your cucumber mites. Next thing we're going to do is assemble our little appetizers. So I have got my plate of all my little baguette pieces toasted up and ready to go. And just for fun, I'm using the things in my trailer to prepare my appetizer. So I've got my handy dandy plastic little spoons. We're going to spoon just a touch of our creamy watercress dip onto each of these little toasted baguettes. Now not too much because we don't want it to be squishy and messy because this is a finger food, um, but enough that you're going to get a lot of that flavor from the watercress and especially from the cream cheese because that's what's going to bring out the creaminess and the, make these appetizers absolutely delicious. Now that I've got my creamy watercress dip onto each of these baguette slices, I'm going to put a cucumber on each. But before I do that, I'm going to dip both sides of the cucumber in my grated Parmesan cheese. That'll make it a little less slippery. It'll stick to the dip all that much better. And we're going to top each one with half of a cherry tomato or a grape tomato. And that'll help that guy a little, to stay put a little bit better also. Okay, now I've got a slice of Parmesan cucumber onto each of the baguette pieces. And I'm just gonna take a little grape tomato, slice them in half and put him cut side down just sitting on top of each one. This will just add a little bit of color to your appetizer table and a little bit extra fresh flavor when you bite into these little guys. Okay, half a little tomato on each one, a little sprinkle of pepper on there. Of course, if I was in the house, I would use fresh ground pepper, but you use what you got when you're roughing it. So there you have it, a delicious appetizer starring your Philadelphia cream cheese that you can make up in even the most confined of kitchens. So I hope you enjoy it and keep cooking with the cream cheese and we'll see you back here again for the next time. Mmm, making a mess. We're gonna try that one again. Mmm, <laughs> crunchy and creamy. All at the same time. Delicious.